Also this morning, Latinos are the state's largest ethnic group for the first time ever at nearly 40% of the population. And two local Latino Congress members just shared a historic moment on Capitol Hill. Our Lydia Pantazas tells us more. It's a historical moment. The house will be in order. One that has the potential to inspire a generation of young people. Late last year, Senator Alex Padilla, seen here on the left, and Congressman Tony Cardenas, seen here on the right, presided over the two houses of Congress on the same day. The first time for two Latinos from the San Fernando Valley, and they're both from Pacoima. For me to have a moment where we're both there, and we're both at this amazing, amazing place in this beautiful building, presiding over two of the most prestigious places on the planet. And with so much responsibility, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. That day, Congressman Cardenas tweeted, calling it an emotional moment. Senator Padilla said he was proud to have shared the moment with his friend. I swear to you, if we tried to plan it, <laughs> it would have taken years. Uh, the fact that it was uh, organic and spontaneous made it even that more special. But to understand just how special this event was for these two lawmakers, you have to look at their childhood, their friendship, and the connection these two men had years before they met. That's you. Yeah, that's Congressman Cardenas, San Fernando High School, class of 81. Senator Padilla, class of 90. Tony played football, I played baseball while we were here. As they walk through the halls of their alma mater, it's clear that their high school is just one of the things that these two men have in common. We have such a same history. Our parents are all immigrants and we grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same schools, elementary school as well, not just high school. Congressman Cardenas and Senator Padilla grew up within a block of each other in Pacoima. Their parents attended the same church. They first worked together in the mid-90s, when now Congressman Cardenas first ran for state assembly and won. He ran my campaign and the rest is history. The two men became close friends, brothers, and now they're even roommates in D.C. Nice to meet you. As we finished our interview, there were already students standing by waiting for words of wisdom. It's going to sound corny. Dream big. As they inspire generations to come, they still remember the people who inspired them. For both, it's their parents, immigrants who came here from Mexico to give their children a better life. But as Senator Padilla tells me, his parents also kept him grounded. I can't tell you how many times growing up, you know, my mom would insist on, hey, que no se te vaya la cabeza, right? Don't let things get to your head. But both men realize that there is a lack of diversity on Capitol Hill, something they say is slowly changing. We have a ways to go, but uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to be a positive change for that place. And by being there and making change for our country, they're hoping they inspire future generations to believe that anything is possible.